BC looked at the Jota in her hand. It was empty. She had spent the last hour trying to prepare the statement of financial position for A and B sweet foods, and she didn't even know where to start from. The only thing she knew was that they had sold some homemade snacks and made a lot of money. She was supposed to write in a Jota as an asset or a liability. The only thing she was clear on was the capital. She knew she had to check the internet for help if she wanted to make any progress. The statement of the financial position of a partnership is like that of a sole trader. It has assets, liabilities, and capital. Busy knew what would be in the capital section, the money she had contributed to the business, and the money our partner Ade had contributed will be the capital, and the profits they made will also be shown. The assets showed the items the partners used to make money for their business. There are two types of assets, non-current assets and current assets. BC was confused. They didn't have any assets except a small oven her mom had given her to bake their cakes and a few other items. BC decided to ask her mom for the price and record it as an asset. She also recorded the money her dad owed for some cupcakes as an account receivable. A business gets its money from its capital and liabilities. The capital and liabilities in the statement of financial positions are always equal to the assets. The liabilities show what the business owes. BC had borrowed some money from her mom for the business, so she recorded it as a liability and she still owed her mom for the flour she had gotten from her shop. BC took note of the amount of the liabilities. BC closed her jota. She was going to fill in the missing amount later when she knew the cost of the oven. We have learned how to prepare a statement of financial position for a partnership and what assets, liability, and capital are. Do you think you can explain what you learned to a friend now? See you in my next class.